channel. So today for this video, I'm going to be doing a collab with the beautiful Lauren. I'll have a link to her channel down below. You want to go ahead and check her out. So we are both doing kind of like back to school videos. So for this video, I'm just going to be showing you this makeup look right here that I'm wearing for you guys to wear back to school. Even if you're in school, you could still wear this look. I mean, wear whatever you want. This may be a lot of makeup for some girls, but I don't know. I kind of just, um, again, make this look very versatile um, for girls who are insecure about their skin and maybe want more coverage. So I use foundation and I'll show you later in the video and explain more about it. Now you guys can use some of these steps or you could totally take out some steps if you want, if you think, again, if it's too much makeup. But yeah, I think this is a very fun, very brightening look if you're running late for school and you're tired and you stayed up late because honey, I feel you, I feel you. So yeah, um, that's why I made this look very bright and very fresh. So you just look nice and fresh and rejuvenated at school. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with the tutorial. All right, so if you wake up late in the morning, like me, we do not have time for primer. So I'm just throwing that aside. Um, now I'm just going straight into my foundation and it is the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous. Um, and I'm just applying this with my finger and I'm gonna blend this out with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And this is a great dupe for the Beauty Blender and it is way cheaper. So I'm now just going ahead and just blending that all over my face. And if you girls out there wanna use foundation, I highly suggest if you don't wanna look cakey, use a Beauty Blender because it definitely helps sheer out the foundation it just makes it look more skin like and it's just I don't know I just really like the finish that the Beauty Blender gives for foundation now time for concealing and I'm just gonna take my Maybelline instant age one concealer and I'm gonna pop this guy under my eyes because of course if we don't get that much sleep we want to definitely brighten our eyes so I'm also gonna concentrate this guy on the inner corners of my eyes to also really help brighten and open our eyes and I'm just gonna take the real technique sponge and blend that out Now this step is totally extra and totally unnecessary, but if you want to extra intensify your under eyes and make them more brighter, I'm just gonna set this with the banana powder in my Anastasia contour kit. Um, but like I said, this is totally extra, and if you guys don't have a brightening powder, don't worry about it, because it's really unnecessary. But um, now we could just skip on to this step, and I'm just using my face powder, and I'm just going to pat this guy all over my face. Do not sweep, because that totally ruins the beautiful foundation that you just put on. Now for eyebrows, if you're like me, again, and you wake up late, I don't think we have time to um, have our eyebrows on fleek. So I'm just gonna brush these guys through. And now onto eyelashes. I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes um, like normal to open up our eyes. And I'm gonna be using my favorite mascara, you guys have heard this all the time, um, my Maybelline Lash Sensation. And I'm just gonna put a couple coats and yeah. So now I'm taking my blush and it's this really subtle plumish color and I'm just going to take this fluffy angled brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks um, and it blend a little bit on my forehead too. Um, I really like this blush because it just gives a really nice flushed look and I'm just gonna blend a little bit on my nose as well. Now for lippies, I'm just taking this Revlon Color Burst and this is in 080 Strawberry Shortcake and I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my lips to give a little bit of color. And now for highlighting, the very last step, we're just gonna go ahead and highlight the inner corners of our eyes to make us look more bright and open and awake. So after that, let's just go ahead and get ready for school. So that is going to be it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!